All right, so today we are going to be talking about possibly the greatest game to ever hit game shelves ever. Ever since the beginning of gaming to right now, and that game is No Man's Sky. But before we get into that, I just want to thank you guys for an incredible YouTube day yesterday. I mean incredible. I gained a little over 1,600 subscribers in one day, and that was accompanied with about 90,000 views in one day also. I mean... Those numbers, though, like, that was a best case scenario month for me last month. I mean, it's just crazy. This channel's been growing. I've yet to have a day in the past, like, three weeks that has not been 100 plus subscribers in one day. I mean, it's crazy. And I just have you guys to think for that. So just take the time. I mean, just, I love you guys. So let's get into No Man's Sky. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it. And I'm hopefully going to win you guys over. I think it's only going to be coming out for PS4. I hate to break it out with that, but don't get excited yet. You know, I don't want to get, get your hopes up at the end, so let's, I'll go ahead and knock that out of the way. Possibly PC in the future, but think about the biggest game that you've ever played. Is it GTA? Is it Fallout 4? Is it The Crew? Is it Minecraft? What is the biggest open world? That's what we're talking about. The, the world that you get to walk in. That you've ever played and I'm gonna give you guys some scale real quick okay so GTA 5 very common game is about 100 square miles of actual playable area the maps huge you guys like playing it right the crew it's a racing game has about a thousand nine hundred miles of square miles of playable racing area I thought that game was huge fallout I'm not too sure about the mileage but I do know it is a huge map so think about those big maps throw them in the trash that is nothing compared to No Man's Sky. Literally infinite play area. You're going to start out in a galaxy, right? A galaxy somewhere on the corner of the galaxy. And there's no corner. That's just a, a reference card, right? It's, it's infinite. And your friends might be on the other side. Literally light years away. Like as far away as possible, right? And... Once you get onto a planet and you look up, and this goes for any video game, whether it's Zombies or uh, GTA or The Crew, Fallout, whenever you look up and you see the sun, you see stars, those are just things added to what is called a skybox, which is just not real. It's a painting. Some of them are dynamic, so they move and they feel like they're real, but it's still not real. In this game, No Man's Sky, those are real stars that you can go and visit. And if you guys don't know this, every star is a sun. Our sun is a star. If you look off into your backyard at night and you see a star, that is the sun. It could be bigger than our sun. It could be smaller than our sun. But around each star are planets that revolve around. And I know that's hard to like whip your mind into like thinking about that. I think it's space is crazy, first of all. That's why I'm just geeking out over this game. And... You can visit that star, you can visit that solar system, whenever you get to that planet, you can see even more stars, and you can go to that star and its planets, and each planet has its own creatures, each planet is different, there's so many creatures, there's so much terrain, and to sum it all up, and a quote that one of the, the designers said, is that sadly, over the course of the years that people are going to put into this game, years, like 10 years or more, only about... 10% of the entire universe is going to be discovered or walked on or visited. That leaves 90% of the game uncharted. People have no idea what it is. People have never seen it before and they probably will not. And like I said, each one has its own ecosystem. Whether you're in a creek and it's little bitty fish swimming around or you're in the jungle and there's huge dinosaurs coming after you. This game is going to be lit and you can do whatever you want to do, whether you want to explore, go to as many planets as possible, or if you would just want to stay on a planet, upgrade your ship, upgrade your guns, and hunt different animals and different creatures on these planets. And I think what I'm going to be doing is trying to find my friend. We've already talked about this. Like the first day, we're going to be working on that spaceship, really just exploring where we're at. And then we're going to keep each day trying to move closer and move closer and find each other however hard that may be hopefully we get lucky and spawn on the same planet and also like in this game planets right if someone destroys a planet like if someone puts a just a huge crater into the side of a planet 
everyone that plays the game, now that planet has a huge crater. And yes, I think you can destroy planets and completely rid them of animals, rid them of everything, plants, life, etc. And when people come to that planet, they're going to see that it's been scavenged. They're going to see that it's been shot up. And it's not like you're just going to be running into just broken planets all the time because even though the servers are going to have like 500,000 people in them, I'm not too sure what the server limit is for people in a universe, it updates for the millions that are going to play this game. You know, it doesn't matter if you're on server A and you destroy a planet. Well, on server B, that planet's going to get destroyed. You know, it's just not going to be there. But yet there's still so much space to go after. So I think it's crazy. Let me know what you guys think down below. The gameplay that we're playing right now is World at War Custom Zombies. The biggest map that I could find, it goes with this topic. I mean, like I said, if you've seen Big, you've not seen it until you've played this game. I mean, walking on this map all the way from spawn to one end takes forever. And being able to go everywhere on this map equally takes as long. It's just three lanes and they just, you walk forever. You just keep walking. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a little different than just talking about zombies but it's a game that i'm gonna get and i hope you guys will get too sadly it's only for ps4 so there's a good thing i got a ps4 a few months ago and peace great forgot to add one more thing again just like yesterday's video oh my gosh mine's boggled right now because of that game but if you're new here do not forget to subscribe join the army I upload every single day and I'm sure you'll find a little something at least once or twice a week that you really do enjoy. You know, the loyals here, the people that comment on every single video, I love you guys so much. You show up every day and it seems like you guys like the content I put out. But also, if you're looking for some grips for your controller, some nice little deep, not D-pad, but thumbstick grips, kind of like control freaks, but not control freaks, check out Fatal Grips. Link is down in the description. They have amazing things. I got a uh, like a, a skin, like a custom rubber skin that goes around the PS4 controller so you don't slip a lot and it feels a lot more comfortable than just hard plastic. Definitely would recommend that. Use code AWO for 10% off. Make me look good, guys. Make me look good. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.